heating effect of electric current. We know that in a cell or a battery, chemical reaction takes place and converts into electrical energy. This energy sets the electrons in motion to flow the current through a resistor connected to a battery. The source has to keep expanding its energy in a circuit to maintain the current. Where does this energy go? A part of the source energy may be consumed into useful work like in rotating the blades of an electric fan and rest of the source energy may be expended in heat to raise the temperature of device. On the other hand, if the electric circuit is purely resistive, the source of energy is converts into heat. This is known as the heating effects of electric current. This effect is utilized in devices such as electric heater, electric iron, etc. Consider a current I flowing through a resistor of resistances R and potential difference across it be V. Let T be the time during which a charge Q flows across. The work done in moving the charge Q through a potential difference V is VQ. Therefore, the source must supply energy equal to VQ in time T. Hence, the power input to the circuit by the source is P is equal to V, Q by T is equal to VI, since Q by T is equal to I. Or, the energy supplied to the circuit by the source in time T is power into time. That is, E is equal to P into T or E is equal to VIT since P is equal to VI. What happens to this energy expended by the source? This energy gets dissipated in the resistor as heat. Thus for a steady current I, the amount of heat H produced in time T is H is equal to VIT. From Ohm's law, V is equal to IR. Substituting in 1, we get H is equal to IR into IT. That is, H is equal to I square RT. This is known as Joule's law of heating. According to this law, heating produced in a resistor is 1. Directly proportional to square of the current 2. Directly proportional to resistance for a given current 3. Directly proportional to the time for which the current flows through the resistor